Welcome everybody to the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for March 2023. My name is Corey with NoobComputerBuild.com. This is probably one of the most exciting $1,500 builds we've had in a very long time. I'll get into the why in a quick second, but overall the price is actually, I think, lower than last month. Performance is up a bit, uh, and uh, the major changes uh, with regards to the CPU uh, and the CPU, we've switched over to a Ryzen. So let's just scroll down a bit and um, preface what that means. So <laughs> last month we went with Intel, went with one of the newer Intel uh, CPUs that were out, uh, the uh, Raptor Lake ones, the 13600 uh, uh, as an example, not an example, that's really what it was. Um, and this month we're going with the Ryzen 5 7600X. And I'm going to tell you why. Both the CPUs uh, basically go head to head in terms of uh, performance and benchmarks, etc. lately. Um, however, the Ryzen uh, 5 7600X is, is forces you to do something and it forces you to upgrade to the most, the highest gen kind of hardware out at the moment, uh, which kind of goes into the next um, available kind of uh, performance capabilities around DDR5 memory, uh, etc. Gives you those capabilities. Not that Raptor Lake can't do that. However, this forces you to do it and has more upgrade potential for the future and future proofs the build overall. So this really, really makes this build a more well-rounded build in my opinion uh, versus um, going, you know, just keeping with the old. Not to say that that's not a bad thing and not that you can't get very similar performance, uh, but for the same price at the moment, you might as well jump to the next gen. And so... Another kind of caveat to that is that I'm including in this one the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X, fantastic new CPU, newish CPU. Um, but also to uh, with at the beginning of this month or at the end of February, the, um, AMD announced their new. Uh, here I'll jump over here, uh, their new uh, X3D CPUs, which are gaming specific CPUs. They they actually perform in benchmarks, and uh, AMD uh, actually says <laughs> they perform better in games, and they do. So for example, this month we're including the Ryzen 5 7600X in this build, um, and it's uh, MSRP at 299. And in this build, I can tell you it's at 240 at the moment, so we're saving a bit there, which is the reason why I really am advocating for jumping to the next gen here. Um, but also uh, just recently, the X3D, some of the X3D chips, such as the Ryzen, such as the Ryzen 9 ones and the Ryzen 7 ones were released just a couple days ago, and the Ryzen 5 uh, one is coming shortly. It's not, uh, not out quite yet, but uh, for example, the Ryzen um, 7 7800X3D is 449, and it'll it performs amazing. The Ryzen 9 uh, 7900X3D performs amazing. But if you do want to wait for the uh, the Ryzen 5 X3D version, uh, which is coming out shortly, and it will actually be cheaper than the 7600X, you could wait for that, uh, and you might get better gaming performance as well. But noting that. Uh, I would, and may, you know, I'm not, I'm kind of on the fence between the 7600X and the X3D ones in terms of this budget range, uh, as the 7600X actually is a more well-rounded CPU in terms of if you want to do more than gaming. Um, but I digress. <laughs> but, uh, and so let's jump into it. The $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for March, 2023. So like I said, the CPU is the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X at the moment. Uh, at two hundred forty dollars ninety two cents at the beginning of the month, fantastic! It bumps you up to the new AM five platform. No complaints there. That's amazing. AMD's uh, notorious for kind of being able to have you go through a few gener or you know keep you on the same uh, uh, platform for quite a while, which is great. And Intel tends to kick you out of their old one and move you into the new one, which isn't always a, a good thing because then you have to you know if you want to upgrade in the future, you have to take into all your hardware uh, costs into consideration. But uh, Anyways, this CPU is included this month and uh, super excited by it. <laughs> so let's move on. Uh, we need a cooler with this, this one as the CPU does not include a cooler. Cooler we have here is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition RGB air cooler. Actually the same cooler that we included with the previous Intel CPU, uh, 5741. Motherboard we have is this all new MSI Pro B650P Wi-Fi Pro Series motherboard at $199.99. Fantastic new motherboard uh, from MSI there. Includes Wi-Fi and the whole gambit. Amazing. Graphics card we have to power this beast is the XF XFX <laughs> RX 6800 XT graphics card at $579.99. Uh, and then the RAM or the memory we have is uh, 
And this is the real seller, I think, one of the real sellers, aside from the performance of the CPU overall. Uh, but uh, this crucial RAM, 16 gigabyte kit of DDR5 memory, next gen memory here at 4,800 megahertz at 6599. So it's um, DDR5, you know, came out a little bit ago here, but uh, it's becoming more and more accessible. So it's, I think it now is kind of the time, the turning point in terms of the higher end builds to kind of uh, consider going in this direction. And so it's included in this build at 65.99 and so for a similar kit of ddr4 at the moment it's you know i want to say it's about 10 20 cheaper uh but definitely more accessible at the moment storage we have here is the crucial p2 one terabyte nvme ssd at 70 dollars 49 cents that's down uh this month as well in cost uh just to, just to note power supply we have is of course our rmx series 850 watt power supply at 149 dollars and uh three cents <laughs> that three cents counts um to power this uh this uh pc this uh overall again power supplies on the higher end have got i think supply levels are low so they're a little more inflated than they usually are and they've gone up a little bit over uh each month so just noting that on the lower end builds um they've actually gone down so don't quite get what's going on i think it's more of a supply issue but uh just to note uh, that that has gone up a little bit but overall did not affect the overall uh budget for uh, or build uh, cost for this budget uh, the, and the case we have to throw everything into and put together and encapsulate this PC build is the Corsair 4000D at $94.99. And overall, if you had a $1,500 uh, budget, which uh, this build is a $1,500 gaming PC build, um, it comes well under that at $1,459 at the beginning of March 2023. So no complaints there. Uh, you know, room for tax, room for upgrades or whatever it be. Uh, if your budget was $1,500, you're saving a little bit. Um, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to jump into some upgrade suggestions. If you do visit the site, noobcomputerbuild.com, uh, we do post some upgrade suggestions, or you can leave a comment if you have questions as you want to build or switch the build around and see if things are compatible, that sort of thing. But this month, I'm going to mention some some of the upgrades that you can potentially do if you had more to spend or want ideas for the future. One could be um, the graphics card if you want a significant boost in uh, gaming performance, as an example. And this is a newer GPU, the XFX uh uh, Radeon RX 7900 XT. Uh, this one comes in at $830.70 at the moment. Uh, not a bad card and it performs amazingly. So it could be a significant bo boost in that FPS while gaming. Again, on the line of uh, CPU upgrades, you could really go all out and go with an AMD Ryzen 9 7950X um, at $589. So a little more expensive, but uh, again, uh, great CPU <laughs> if you can afford it. Um, you could bump it up to more memory, double the memory to and go with uh, something like a Kingston Fury Beast 32 gig uh, kit of memory, two 16 gigabyte sticks at, uh, you know, 5,200 uh, mega transfers per second at DDR5 kit, uh, $128.67. Again, not bad considering that was close to what 32 gig kits were going with, uh, going at, we're going, we're going at for DDR4 not long ago here. Or if you do want a more customized cooling solution or a better cooling solution, uh, you could go with, uh, Something like this Be Quiet BW008 Pure Loop uh, 360 millimeter all in one uh, cooling solution at $181.39. Got to note that I do, I, I actually quite like these coolers, but um, it's a little more pricey this month, uh, just to note. But that does it for the $1,500 Gaming PC Build of the Month for March 2023. If you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, visit the site, and leave a comment there. Um, and yeah, I'd be uh, more than happy to follow up with you, but uh, best of luck building your next gaming PC build.